Shifting our focus now, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is on a three-day visit to West Asia. The visit comes at a time when violence continues in West Bank. The top U.S. diplomat aims to tone down the Israeli-Palestinian tensions. Blinken will be heading to Jerusalem today where he will be holding talks with the new Israeli administration, which includes the ultra-nationalist parties that want to expand the West Bank settlements. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's new right-wing government has stirred concern over the future of Israel's secular values and the ongoing deadlock over peace talks with Palestinians. Now, During his visit, Blinken is also expected to reiterate Washington's support for a two-state solution. The U.S. Secretary of State will also travel to Ramallah to meet with the Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas, where he will be calling for broader steps to de-escalate tensions in the region. Now, after a gunman on Friday killed seven people outside a synagogue in Jerusalem, marking its deadliest terror attack in over a decade, Blinken just a while ago also met with Egyptian President Abdel Fateh el-Sisi, where the two discussed regional issues such as Libya and Sudan. On day one of his three-day trip to West Asia, he met with Egyptian youth leaders and emphasized on how he wanted to strengthen Washington's strategic partnership with Egypt. As we're looking at the partnership between the United States and Egypt, a strategic partnership that is of great consequence to the United States, we know that going forward that partnership ultimately is going to be built and sustained and strengthened by the people here today and the people that you represent. Jody Cohen is our correspondent from Israel. She's joining us live from Jerusalem. Now, Jody, welcome to the broadcast. For the United States, Israel is a key partner in West Asia, but Blinken is expected to push for a two-state solution in this visit, and that's something that the ultra-Orthodox members of the current government are not going to like. I want to ask you, do you think Washington is trying to walk on a tight rope here? I think the priority for the meetings will be on not necessarily... Um, aiming for a two-state solution, although certainly in the U.S. readout of the agenda for today's meeting, they have referred to the importance of a two-state solution. But being realistic, I don't expect that they will um, expect to see great progress on that front in the meetings today. I think the priority will really be for Secretary of State Lincoln will be to try to restore security ties between Israel and the Palestinian Authority. Remember, those um, were broken or threatened to be broken by the Palestinian Authority following the violence that we've seen over the last few days. I, just to recap on that, we saw um, the Israeli operation in Jenin, which they said was to thwart the multiple and major terror attacks that were being planned. That turned into the deadliest day for the Palestinians in years. We've also seen terror attacks in Jerusalem over the weekend, which was the deadliest day for Israelis since 2008. So tensions are certainly high. I think um, the American administration is going to be realistic in what they aim to achieve in the meetings. And I think the priority will certainly be on restoring security coordination as opposed to really expecting real progress on the two-state solution at this stage. All right, Jody, taking your point further, the Israel-Palestine issue is a decades-old problem. Deep-rooted differences often lead to violence in the country. So how are both the parties, Benjamin Netanyahu and Mahmoud Abbas, receiving an interjection by the U.S.? And I want to also ask you, do you think it has potential to solve the differences? So I think it's important to remember that this uh, trip by Secretary of State Lincoln was pre-planned before we've seen this escalation in tension. So it's not just going to be the Palestinian-Israeli conflict on the agenda. And the trip certainly wasn't because of the um, recent violence that we've seen over the last few days. Um, we're expecting them to be talking about uh, relations, bilateral relations between the PA and the US and between Israel and the US. We know that the US wanted to talk about the new Israeli government's agenda, wanted to talk about the, you know, um, repeating the importance of the two-state solution in meetings with both parties. We've also just seen an announcement by the U.S. Embassy in Israel talking about how Israel has got to the next stage 
um, in terms of its applications for the U.S. visa waiver program, which will be an important move for Israel. And of course, we've seen massive drills taking place, joint drills between Israel and the U.S. over the past week, which was seen to be in preparation for a potential strike on Iran's nuclear program. So we've seen um, the CIA chief is here. We've had the National Security Advisor, Jake Sullivan, here. Now we've got Anthony Blinken here. The U.S. certainly wants to develop these regional relationships, not just between Israel and the Palestinians, also between Israel further integrating into the region. So there's going to be a lot that's going to be talked about in these meetings. Absolutely, Jody, and that's exactly what I was coming to uh, about West Asia as a whole. How is the region viewing Joe Biden's policy so far, and what more is it expecting from Washington? So in terms of the Palestinian-Israeli conflict, they've um, sort of set expectations, I think, from the outset that they're not looking to try and necessarily have a new peace process at this stage. They're looking to bolster the Palestinians, strengthen them economically, and try and maintain the security coordination between Israel and the PA. Um, in terms of the Abraham Accords, the normalization agreements, um, Israel will welcome their involvement in that. Netanyahu himself has said that reaching out and potentially uh, making peace with Saudi Arabia is a priority for his coalition government and one which his coalition partners have agreed to support him in achieving. So the fact that he's come out and said so specifically that he would like to make peace with Saudi Arabia, I think is an indication of some optimism on that front, potentially, Saudi Arabia, of course, is saying that at this stage they won't make peace and recognize Israel without a two-state solution. So, All right. again, yeah, but I was going to say that Blinken definitely wants to focus on regional cooperation in this visit as well, and of course Iran. Absolutely. All right, Jody. Thank you for all those insights. We will be coming back to you as and when developments take place in West Asia alongside Blinken's visit. Thank you.